Hello and welcome to Kim's Beauty Basics. I'm Kim and today I'm going to be doing a product review of a new product I recently got in the mail. Not from PR and not from a makeup company, just from my good old mom. She sent me this product just this past week and I was really excited when I unboxed it. It's um, from a higher end brand and it's a highlighter. Um, so recently I did a review in a video this past week of a uh, Sephora product for a collection product um, that is a highlighter palette um, so if you want to check that out just go through my last videos and it should be there it'll be my Sephora haul video and so I just reviewed a like more affordable option and so then this is the is it worth it higher end option uh, review here if you do want to see that and you're interested to see how the higher end um, highlighter works out on my skin tone then just keep on watching and if you enjoyed this video please feel free to like it um, just down below and if you want to see more of my videos also um, subscribe I will be trying to put out um, about two videos a week I'm in school I also work but I really enjoy doing this YouTube thing so any and all support is so appreciated let's get into it The product that I'm reviewing today is the Lancome Paris Dual Finish Highlighter. It's a multitasking illuminating powder that says all day wear and I have it in the shade 5 or sparkling page. You get 5.2 grams of product and then you get or 0.18 ounces. Just so you know this is currently retailing for $53 Canadian which is expensive for a highlighter and in the US it's retailing for $39.50 reading the back of the product here it apply with fingers sponge or brush the possibilities are endless feeling a natural glow pat or dab the product on with fingers anywhere you want to emphasize the highlight so I guess to use your fingers um, you'll get a little bit more of a natural glow and then it says if you want to attract spotlight attention use the sponge wet to achieve a strobing effect with a more intense radiant finish Use the sponge dry for subtle yet buildable illumination. And it says for more precise application, apply with Lancome's highlighting brush, number 31 to define cheekbones, brow bones, nose bridge, and cupid's bow. So I'm gonna open this baby up and show you what it comes with. It comes with a sponge that's just outside of the pack, other uh, the highlighter itself. Um, so it's one of those like cheap uh, makeup sponges that no one really uses that much. Um, and then this is the dual finish highlighter here. It's just a uh, shiny patent black uh, with a little bit of a gold um, finish to it that says Lancome. This is the back of the product as well. It just says what it is, the shade and all that good stuff. As far as packaging, it's nothing special. It's not that heavy, it's okay. So it does come with a mirror. You get the mirror and then the product down here. It does have a plastic cover over the top, so that's great. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch it. I'm just gonna go in with my finger here. Get a good amount. So I'm just gonna swatch it here for you. Woo! So that's the swatch there. I can move my hand a little bit so you can see it is super reflective. It also is super pigmented. I tried to blend out the swatch just with my hand and this so that's it blended out on my hand there. Very pretty. Let's go in and apply this to the face. I'm going to first apply it with my sponge. It looks dirty, but I promise that I cleaned it. Beauty Blender or Real Technique sponge is damp, so we're ready to go in. I'm just gonna dip it into the product here, and then I'm going to apply this to my face. I'm gonna go around, do above my brow bone, and just my normal like a cheek highlight. And maybe I'll apply a little bit uh, with my fingers, the finger that I use for swatching, and just apply that to my brow bone here as well. It can be really gold, but luckily it blends out pretty good. So that's the highlighter here. And I think it's picking out pretty good on camera. Um, it's quite nice. It doesn't have too much glitter. And this shade is like a gold, I would say like a gold undertone champagne -y color. Let's also go down the bridge of the nose. But I'm just going to go in now with my normal highlighting brush. This is just a Quo 
a professional brush. What was just available in our local drugstore. Somewhere between an e.l.f. and a Real Techniques brush. I use this for highlighting. It's nice and fluffy and soft and it uh, blends quite well. So I like it for highlighting. But I'm just going to go in and dip my brush and just tap off the excess there and then go down the bridge of my nose just to see if I can build that up a bit. Oh yeah, I got a lot more pigment I think with the brush. Go back over my brow bone on this side and then I'm going to again tap and I'm going to apply to this side as well. Oh, my eyebrow has a little bit of highlighter in it. A new look that I'm going for. <laughs> um, so that's down my bridge of my nose. It is um, quite blinding. And yeah, it really looks like that in real life as well. It is quite nice. It doesn't look glittery. It's not um, like chunks of glitter. It's just like a shimmer to it. Uh, let me just go in and try to layer a little bit more on this cheek. I am going to do this cheek eventually. I, I'm going to be doing something else though with this one. So I'm just going to go back in with my brush and put a little bit more on. See what happens. All right, so that is more. So this is applied here with the brush and the sponge, a brush and my finger, and then brush and it was my blender, beauty blender, real technique sponge here. So it's quite nice. It is definitely reflective and glowing, um, not bringing more attention to texture at all. It's pretty good. This looks like a glow. It's reflecting a lot of light, especially down my nose and um, on my cheek here where I put a lot of product. So that is quite nice. All right, so I've applied it to this side of my face and now I'm gonna go in and do it to this side. I'm gonna apply it to this side of my face with the brush because I got the most color payoff with that. And then I'm gonna go in and um, try to blend it out and really try to melt it into my skin with a setting spray. I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus setting spray. This is an awesome drugstore setting spray if you want like a luminous glowy finish. So that's why I'm going in with this. So going in, going again with my uh, Quo brush here, my highlighter brush. I don't really know if it's exactly a highlighter brush, but anyway, tapping off the excess and just going in on my cheek here. Just move my hair out of the way. And I'm tapping again. I want more. And going above my brow bone again as well. I'm going to go in with my finger and apply a little bit to my brow bone here. We're spraying with my Wet n Wild um, setting spray here. And just going to blend that out. Oh my gosh, why did it spray out so much product? Let me take a look at what we got here. I would say the side where I did the setting spray and then blended it looks a little bit more smooth and more of a transition. This looks a little bit more textured and um, not as blended. So I'm actually going to try to go in with the sponge while it's still wet and just blend it a bit more. So this is the highlighter applied. It looks very smooth. I ended up blending both sides with a damp um, Real Technique sponge and spraying that setting spray as well. And I think that helped um, smooth everything out a little bit and help blend the edges. I do really like the highlighter um, and it doesn't have too much glitter in it, which is nice. So my final thoughts on this product here are, dun dun dun. It is a great product. It's a great um, product from Lancome. I really do like Lancome as a company. Um, I don't really like their foundations a whole lot, but I do like some of their eyeshadows. However, for $53 Canadian, I don't think I can justify the price of that highlighter. Like it is pretty and I'm glowing, but as you saw in my uh, one of my last videos last week, I reviewed a Sephora palette that is $35 Canadian and has six illuminating shades. I found those to be great and I thought like for the, your bang for your buck, that was awesome. Yeah, I don't think I could do it. I'm so happy my mom sent to me. I'm so appreciative. She's so amazing. She sends me um, beauty stuff now that I've started this YouTube page. She thinks, oh, Kim, Kim will use this. Kim will, Kim will need to review this. She sends me stuff all the time. She said she has another package in the mail, so I will go and look for that and try to do a video um, later this week on whatever comes this week in the mail. I, I do appreciate it and I love it as a gift, but I don't think I could buy this for myself. I definitely wouldn't recommend going out of your way to purchase. Um, it's nothing 
extraordinary. It's um, pretty basic for the highlighters that are on the market nowadays. So that's all for me. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if anyone is wondering what products I used on my face, they'll be down in the description box. So that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more from me, just um, subscribe and you can turn on notifications so that you uh, know the time that I post because I am a little sporadic with my posting. I am in school. I do work. So I try to find time in between all of that and I try to make videos when I do have any time because I love doing this. It's really fun for me um, and I hope that you enjoy it and someone learns something from it because um, that's all I really want to do. I just want to share information. I will link my social media handles down below and I will put uh, the names up here so you can go find me on there. I would love to connect with you. Thanks again for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and until next time, have a great day.